dashing through the snow on an 80 horsepower snowmobile is nothing unusual in the forests of northern Sweden. Tourists can drive snowmobiles themselves here too, but they're first given a lesson. German Patrick Rodaka shows them the ropes. He knows just what the holidaymakers want. German tourists always want to see elk. The road signs are a real hit. They get stolen all the time. That's the one people want to hang up in the living room. And they want to get a look at a good old red fox or arctic foxes further in the north. And there are a few wolves too. They come over from Eastern Europe. There's plenty of room for wild animals. The human population density in Lapland is about two residents per square kilometer. The area is known as Europe's last frontier. In northern Sweden, temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius are normal in winter, and it's dark. The sun stays below the horizon for two weeks, but you get used to it. We've never been depressed, at least I haven't been. I read a lot and enjoy it. It's a good opportunity to exercise my mind. If it's a bit cloudy when the sun is below the horizon, a few sunbeams still light up the clouds from below and the sky turns wonderful colors. Taking a long walk is also a nice way to find inner peace. One attraction you can walk to is the Ice Hotel. It takes more than a thousand tons of ice and quite a bit of snow to rebuild it every year. Artists from all over the world contribute sculptures. During the Christmas season, the whole place is open and guests can spend a chilly night there. Kiruna, Sweden's northernmost town, isn't far away. 18,000 people live here, some 140 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Among the locals are Swedes, Finns, and indigenous Sami, who gave the place its name. In their language, Kiruna means ptarmigan, a member of the grouse family. Sami traditions are also reflected in the Hotel Camp Ripan, both in its furnishings and its cuisine. Chef Marcos Jönsson cooks meals using old recipes that have been handed down through generations. We eat lots of reindeer. We eat, we eat uh, elks and pretty much what's around, what's around us. In this restaurant, we use much things just from the from the region. So, in addition to reindeer, there are lots of root vegetables from Kiruna. He says his cooking secret is less is more. I use the knowledge that I got from my, my uh, ancestors. and The reindeer and the meat and the fish from here, I think it's so good and it's so clear and rich in their taste, so we don't season it so much. Yeah, you can almost taste that we are in Kiruna. I know where the, the reindeer has, has, has uh, wandered and I know where the roots are from and I, that's a good thing to know. Things take time in Markus Jönsson's kitchen. He does slow cooking. This reindeer shank has simmered in a pot for five to seven hours. He got the recipe from his grandmother. There are also regional accents in the interior design of the hotel. It's clearly Nordic, and the materials come from the area around Kiruna. And above all, there's lots of birch. Monika Lindt introduced the regional emphasis at Camp Ripan. She grew up in Kiruna and has been running the hotel with her family since 2003. I am a winter, uh, winter woman. <laughs> I love the winter time and winter activities. And uh, so I, I think that um, I like the, the dark time when you can make it cozy inside, a lot of fire, and of course the northern light. Guests can watch for the Aurora Borealis in Campri Pan's Northern Lights Hall. But it's hard to predict when the colorful stratospheric show will begin. Those who don't want to wait inside can head outside, hop back on a snowmobile 
and drive through the winter wonderland. 